now we're selling apart and we've got six in stock total two of them are or actually one of them is actual inventory item and five of them are consignment and this is just a part that i've made up for, as an example so what we're going to do is we're going to put two of these items on the invoice which should cause the system to sell one of the items that I actually own and then one of the consignment items. So you'll get to see what happens in a configuration where you actually have your own inventory and you're doing consignment parts for the same item because Lizzie can deal with both scenarios. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to add the item to the invoice. I'm going to select the green button to let Lizzie know that we actually have the items in our hand and we're going to go ahead and tell it to pay the invoice. The system highlights, you notice again, just like on the purchase order, everything happens exactly like you would sell any other part. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to process the invoice. I'm going to take a look at the inventory hits for the actual invoice. And here you can see that the system actually has some extra general ledger hits. Um, like in the previous video where I was explaining that the system wasn't actually bringing any of these items into inventory, it what happens when you sell the item is it adjusts the item into your inventory at that point and then turns around and sells the item so that you can sell it so at that point is when the the part physically becomes your part and hits your books and shows up on your uh, documentation so that's the the general ledger hits we can see what happened here so let's go back over here and we're going to go back to the inventory item and take a look at its costing table and here you'll notice that the system it i had five over here and one that was in stock now i've the one that was in stock is gone and i've sold and i'm down to four so i've sold one of the the five items now it's important to understand that once you sell that item, it becomes yours as far as Lizzie is concerned. So if you turn around and do a refund for that item from a customer, it's going to come back as your part on the books. It won't come back in as a consignment after you have sold it. So what physically happened here on the costing table is Lizzie took one of those items out, went from five to four, and then put the item into inventory, then turned around and sold it. So now let's take a look at the actual purchase order itself. And from here, you can see that we had a total of five that we received, and Lizzie has, has a quantity sold of one, which means that if I were to pay the supplier right now for this particular consignment item, I owe them $10. And, and what happens is that as we pay the purchase order, Lizzie will handle the, the, the consignment items to make sure that this purchase order always reflects what I actually owe that particular supplier and what we had originally brought in as consignment items.